using the latest tech to search for an endangered icon. When we're flying at night, uh, everything is dark and we'll see a thermal signature of any uh, animal or bird in the tree and it's like a, like a light bulb uh, in the tree. Drone operators are scouring bushland around Logan to find out just how many koalas call the region home. Just the sheer area that they can cover, um, the clarity, GPS location of everything you spot, uh, you get video in high definition. Um, so being able to use that data post um, it is far more accurate. Similar studies have taken place across the Gold Coast and in North Queensland. If we want to protect the habitat that koalas live in now and into the future, we have to under understand where they are and how they move around our city. While the Logan Council says the drone surveys will help protect koalas, conservationists have warned more needs to be done by all levels of government to help save habitat from overdevelopment. If you're putting roads through koala habitat, you see more car strikes. If you're building houses in there, you get more dog attacks. And ultimately also, the more koalas are compressed, you see higher stress in the population, and that results in less resilience and greater disease. Environmentalists believe the key to saving the marsupial is building up rather than out. If we keep doing these giant new PDA developments in the last vestiges of remnant forests in South East Queensland, we are signing a death warrant for the koala. For now, the count to find how many are left continues. Toby Loftus, ABC News, Logan.